Hey guys, it's Anna. I just wanted to share with you, um, I know because I've gotten the question, so why the heck are you moving uh, from your personal page to your life page and do I need to do that? So rather than type it out, I'm doing this video for you. Um, the reason why, uh, as a parent, you cannot technically do work, run your business on your personal page. Now, I don't want you guys to panic. There is really no reason to panic because what we do on our personal page is not selling. The reason why I am moving right now completely, one is because I have over 3,000 friends and I will be hitting my 5,000 friends soon. So I want to make that change anyways and I won't be able to add friends uh, to begin with. Two, um, I have the budget to place ads on my like page. Um, I had run an ad for over a year following the step-by-step -step tips, um, Steve McDonald in um, Practical Social Media had, and Brandy Botts, top coach Brandy Botts, um, what she utilized. And that ad ran for a year. I gained, you know, 10,000, 11,000 followers. And um, I stopped that ad about six months ago, and I have not lost followers so, um, those are well targeted people. So how does this affect you as a new coach? Should I move over to my like page or should I not? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to create a like page. Go ahead and create one. It's absolutely free. I would recommend now after doing it for all these, these years and it's a little bit different than Instagram because Instagram you want you you have a different name. We, we um, you know we want you to have something that kind of represents you. But for your like page, I would suggest just putting the same name, putting your name in your like page. Um, that is searchable. If someone is going to search your name, they're going to stumble upon your like page. So go ahead and open a like page. Go ahead and start posting on that page. And go ahead and start inviting your friends over there. That's okay. It may be a little bit more extra work. What you're going to be doing is just building a foundation. I don't want you to want you to stop what you're doing and moving over there because no one will see it. You, um, you're brand new. No one's going to see that. Now, if you're brand new, you should only be posting about what you're doing. You're eating right. Look, I have my lunch here. I'm eating. I'm working out and here's something motivational. There's zero sales about that. I don't want you to go, hey, I'm a beach body coach, posting pictures about with your Shakeology and things like that on your personal page. Okay. Also, in your about section, just um you it's a good way to um link your personal page to your like page. If one that person stumbles upon your personal page clicks on your like page. Um, I wouldn't necessarily put independent Beachbody coach cause that will actually flag you, um, on Facebook and say, Hey, I am a network marketer. Um, so if you have that, I would change it. Um, you're a health and fitness coach. Simple as that. Okay. So don't go at, and like freak your friends out and say, I'm going over to your like page. I do want you to eventually work towards that like page right now and, you know, maybe post a couple times a day, early morning and late evening, uh, just to kind of build the page up. Um, but, you know, then you're going to start to kind of build traction over there and then you can share those things. Then we will eventually get your personal friends to move over, but your personal friends have no idea what you're doing anyways. So I'm um, just inspire people on your personal page, inspire people. And it really comes down to the private messages that you send. You send private messages. Hey, so-and-so I am, I, I just was thinking about you. I hope you had an amazing day. Simply brightening somebody's day. I know that this comes up in the new coach boot camp. We feel weird when we send private messages, but Turn the tables. I always want you to turn the tables. Turn the tables and picture yourself receiving a message like that. Why is this person I haven't talked to in 20 years ask, thinking about me and wishing me a, a great day? What are you going to do? You're going to go over to the, your page and you're going to see that they are motivating other people. They're just being motivating. 
if they have a big thing of Shakeology, if they have a big challenge pack, then you're, of course it's salesy. But if you're just motivating people on your page, then that private message will go, oh my God, that was so nice that she actually thought about me. And they will be more inclined to check you out. So when it comes time that you've built up your like page, hey guys, I'm moving over to my like page. Um, the only thing I can say is your like page is targeted. I am going to work on some training on um, building a like page, placing ads, placing ads when you have no budget that kind of thing, but I wanted to just give you a heads up to answer that question. Um, so hopefully that helps. I don't, I don't really want to answer any other questions about it because that will all be in the training. I, I want to get the Instagram training off and running, um, automated, and then the next phase will be this like page. So keep your eyes open for that. We'll do it the same way we did the Instagram training. Everybody signs up, and I'm going to put them in email form, and we just kind of run through it. Okay? Don't forget, Sunday night, Doug Fitzgerald will be hosting our team call. If you are wondering how to reinvent yourself this year, if you're a brand new coach, this will still be very useful for you. He's a founding coach, amazing mentor of mine. Don't forget, be there. I'm going to open up the lines. I'm going to pay more money so that we can get 100 people on this call. Okay? Bye.